Siegel, Brandon. Mm. He's better at coming up with answers than I am to questions, that's for sure. Siegel's one of those people I don't think he'd ever have a bad thing to say about. You can see how much like passion he has just for, I guess, the game and what he loves doing. For sure he's a nice guy. For me he's like a teddy bear, someone you wanna actually hack all the time. He laughs a lot. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good Project Red player. You know, he loves playing his Hanzos, he loves playing his Drunk Rats, his Bastions and all that kind of stuff. He plays it all at such a like a ridiculously high level. It's like, okay, cool, I play Genji, I play Fair, I play all the heroes that the team kind of sucks at. We didn't have like a good Project player before. Having Seagull to cover that role is really, really, really important for us. I think if you tell me to get good at any hero in the game, I can become one of the best in the world at it, given enough time. Easy clap, Corey. <laughs> Chips, a bit on the quieter side. Chips is very quiet. Chips is mysterious, reserved. Chips does not say a lot inside and outside of the game. He's like a sloth. He's not in a hurry to go anywhere, right? His brain thinks like like million things at the same time and then he gets overwhelmed by his big brain. <laughs> he's thinking too much. You know, I look up to him a lot as a support player. You know, he's he sort of paved the way for like Western supports. It is very good. His mechanics is He's one of the best, if not the best. He has honed the basics of the game into such perfection. He doesn't show the flashy stuff all the time, but when he does, he can he can definitely pop off. Really good already. There's a duel and Chips <laughs> takes down Logic. Oh, that's why we like Chips Anna so much. He's still super silent compared to like other players like Custer. They say he doesn't say much in game, but when he does say it, it's generally very important. We made like a hierarchy of when you talk, you listen to that person, and we put chips at the top. He's like the quiet leader. If he ever says something, it's absolutely important. Everyone immediately follows it, no matter what it is. When we play without chips, everything seems worse. For me, he's the most important player in the team. Irreplaceable. Custer. Custer, like, he's a bit of an idiot, honestly. He's a handsome Australian with a nice accent. Custer is the token Australian on the team. Only here, of course, because he is Australian. It's a shame, really. I guess I think of him as the most normal person on the team. He has his life together, he's he's well-spoken, he's he's organized. You can count on him that he's gonna eat his food and wake up and he'd be ready and be on time. He's really serious and he really tries every time he plays. Not many players can do that, but Custer can. He's uh, very good at communicating. He talks more than another support get a good point. And he's very good at taking control which is something that this team has lacked for a very long time. Pretty much the entire support cast he can play is very, very versatile. He plays Lucio, Ana, Zen, Mercy, and Warrior now. He's an amazing player. I'll see you later then, man. Effect. Effect doesn't really talk much outside of the game. He sort of likes to keep to himself. I am a quiet person. I came into the team not knowing any English at all or barely any. It's been quite the journey teaching him. But he likes to make people do stuff for him. It's like, oh, I'm cute and I'm helpless, please do stuff for me. He really likes cats. Who has cats? Who has cats? I need cats. Why do you like cats so much? Cute. Effect is a grinder. I've never seen someone with such a, a dedicated schedule like Effect. There's no outside of the game of Effect. Effect is always in the game. That's the thing. It's always streaming, always playing, always grinding. Like Effect can play Osu for two hours and then he pra practices Aim Hero for an hour and then he plays Quick Play for an hour before we, he actually even jumps into a game. Mechanically on Tracer is very, very good. He's actually very underrated at the other heroes he plays, but that's only because he's so good at Tracer. He plays everything at such like a world-class level. He really try hard every time. He played the game. He just wants to win really, really badly. He's a, like a God's gift to game. Harry Hook is the loud Spaniard who, after years of speaking English, somehow is losing the capability of speaking English. <laughs> he has been in America for two years and his English is going to work. I feel, I feel bad because <laughs> even Mickey makes fun of his English sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Harry. Harry is acts like a kid. <laughs> he's a children, except his face, because he's old. It's like, it was preseason. Bring on the regular season. Let's hey, just chill. Chill in here, man. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so much fun to be around. His laugh is the stupidest thing you'll ever hear. Devil, <laughs> 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 Why are you not kidding? 
We've had this running joke. Harry is low IQ out of game, but high IQ in game. His IQ just like pops up tenfold when he gets in game. Likes to take command, take control. Okay, go together, 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 together. Yeah, yeah. Do anything for the team to make sure you get the win. His soldier is so mind-boggling to me. Like, it just has this gift of like, oh, I can track people with my mouse, never missing a shot. His aim is ridiculous. Watching him firsthand, it sort of like, gives you a new appreciation for like how good his aim is, especially for a support player. This hit scan is very good. He can always swap off to DPS characters and just shred people on professional teams who play DPS for a living while he's playing Lucio most of the time. I, I love playing with Harry. XQC. He's honestly a lot of fun to be around, but sometimes you just gotta shake your head. I like XQC as a person, you know? It's kind of how I expected him to be. Kind of all over the place. XQC is crazy. Anyone who watches stream knows pretty much exactly who he is. Actually, there's no odds at the game. He's always streaming, man. That's, that's the only It's being honest right now. He's just like, thank you for two months of <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Thanks for subscribing. Woo! He is very rough, but fun a lot. Yeah. Do you enjoy being around him? No, I can't because I'm quiet. XQC is a spaz who can somehow barely keep his life together, but he absolutely dominates his Winston in game. One of the best Winstons in the game. Like that's not what a lot of people would say from a guy who has not been playing professionally for a long time. It's like he's very, very driven to improve and I really admire that about him. When he actually gets confident in himself and his team, I think he's gonna do great things. He will stream all day, he will play all day, he doesn't care, all he wants to do is play and get good. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Coco? Old, he's like a fossil. <laughs> he <laughs> looks uh, cool, yeah, gentleman. The one other Swedish player on the team. We're the only two of the same nationality. Coco outside of the game, he's like the greatest person ever, he's humble. He's really talented. You know, it's weird, but I've, I don't think I've ever seen Coco frowning. He's always smiling. Has Coco in the team is good because Coco is adult and Harry is a child. So we should have adult and child in the same team. Coco's probably got one of the biggest minds for teamwork on the team. Very reliable when it comes to if you need help. He has to babysit me most of the time, especially when he plays Reinhardt. A shield just pops off in my face and I'm like, oh, there's Coco. And he knew what to do. Usually when you see big combos come out, it's it's probably Coco that said, let's do this, let's do that. He actually has a lot of quirky strats that he always wants to bring out as well. So if you ever see us do anything weird, it's probably because of Coco. I think that's really where Coco stands out. He's very smart, yet collected. Timo. Timo, I missed a good aim. He's, uh, he's an interesting character. He really knows what he wants to do all the time, whether or not it's right, it's time his way or the highway. It's hard to know what you're gonna get with Timo, but you always know that he's your friend. Some people feel like, oh, Timo's this toxic, but he's actually a really nice person. Like online, I seem really angry and unapproachable, and I really like meeting new people. When, when Timo has a good mood, I think he is the best player in the world. He's done some things that continually amaze me. Timo is the type of player that goes for the most ballsy, high-risk, high-reward plays. And if it works, he looks like a god, and if it doesn't, he's just the biggest feeder in the world. When you think about like his general playstyle, like one word for it is, is random. You never know what Timo is going to do. I am a hyper-competitive person, and that's pretty much me. <sighs> Mickey. Mickey's an oddity. I've, I've never seen someone who doesn't stop smiling so much. Mickey is so annoying. He's not annoying enough to where you're actually annoying. He's just annoying enough to where you laugh. And that's a fine line. He's always like jumping around, doing crazy stuff, like laughing. Like <laughs> He's exactly the same outside of the game as he is inside the game. He's a very important part of the team because he's so positive all the time. In a way, he's like the person that holds the team together. He's very good at carrying the momentum and I think he does it in a way to make sure the mood stays light and that everyone stays focused and interested in actually practicing and playing the game. You can see why he's so good for the team and how he sort of helps bring everyone together. He is very funny and good teammate. For the most part, he's just a diva god. There's no better diva player than him. It still kind of blows my mind like how many gold medals you see him have as diva. If he ever turns off a diva bomb, he thinks we'll net a lot of kills like, oh, I'm ulti. Look, 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 boom. <laughs> Yeah, as much as we call him a diva one trick, I think he's got a very good grasp of the game and a very smart player. 